Today is going to be an exciting day, everybody. Today, we will be deciding who our partner is going to be for the Tag Force series. And yes, we're going to be doing CPU matches to make it happen. In other words, today is not going to be exactly a Tag Force day, but it will have the biggest impact on the Tag Force tournament. There are four possible characters that we can partner up with for the big tournament, and they're going to be going at it against each other in a quick little, you know, it's, a, it's actually going to be a quick tournament with them fighting each other, and it will be match style. The first fight of the tournament will be Jaden Yuki versus Chaz Princeton. Let's go ahead and get this duel started. I hope you're all excited. I'm freaking excited. I've never done this before, not with Master Duel. So here we go. Oh, wait, I forgot their faces. I don't think I have their faces. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. We should have their faces. Let's see. I think I might be able to find them. If I look hard enough, I think I can find them. Alright. Chaz Princeton, my boy, my guy. Uh, where are you? Alright. Chazzy boy will be on your screen real soon, everybody. I'm, I'm getting him right now. Alright, I got Chaz. Chaz is a start. It may not be the Chaz we know and love, but it's a Chaz. And let's look for Jaden. I think I have a Jaden. I have a Jaden. Perfect! Alright, Chaz. Oh, I put them on the wrong side. Gosh darn it, I'm doing this horribly. Doesn't matter, I'll figure it out. Watch the duelist go at it while I freak out in the background. So, who will be my partner? The winner of this match will tell. It looks like Jaden Yuki drew a- Oh! Chaz got Cyberjar! Oh, I missed half the duel, I feel like, but here they go. Jaden Yuki gets a bunch of hero cards to try and take advantage, but he's scared. He's scared. Very many of those heroes did not have attack stat. Whereas Chaz gets spells, traps, monsters, he can't summon an Ojama. Wow, if you went aggressive, you actually would have been fine. You did not know, though. I don't blame you. Chaz has bigger beaters than you. You rely on fusion. Chaz relies on levels, even though Chaz also does have fusion. So, very interesting start to this duel. I know it's already turn five, but anything can happen. This is old school attack force level decks, so we're going to see what they can do. Arm Dragon level five is on the field. Too bad he never got poly, because look at all the stuff he could have fused. Stamping Destruction hits the field spell. No more skyscraping. And Premature Burial brings back Arm Dragon level 3. And Ojama in attack mode makes no sense and is upsetting me, but what? Oh my god. You knew which monsters were face down. You did not need to play the Ojamas. Oh my god. Chaz. You, do, you just did 3400 damage to yourself. Leaving them in attack mode means you lose the duel. Holy crap. If he fuses, he does need to fuse. Let's see what he does. Hero signal. No heroes. They're going in. It's not enough damage. Chaz is still fine. He's making me upset. The AI always has to make me upset. Magic Cylinder saves the Arm Dragon level 3, which means it will evolve. We have Arm Dragon level 7, who has an amazing effect, and I would use it if I were you, just because you don't want to keep your opponent's cards alive, or else they'll be used for fusion. And that Swords is going to be really annoying. Right when Chaz had an advantage. Call of the Haunted. Oh, is he trying to get two? Does that work? It totally works. Holy crap. Chaz Princeton with the plays today. And yes, he did use it. They're all gone. Yes, you lost fusion materials. If you're a Jaden Yuki fan and you want him to be my partner, you should be happy. Uh, I mean, you should be mad right now. And why did you just try to bring back Ojama Yellow? Oh my God. Did he just try to bring back Ojama Yellow? That's super upsetting. Out of all the cards you could have chosen. Hey, Necroid Shaman gets in there. Ojama Yellow gets destroyed. The Chaz, if you lose, you're going to owe him 20 extra bucks for killing a key card. Jaden Yuki seems to be doing really well right now, life point wise. Chaz has field advantage. This is pretty tense. We're going to be doing match style, though, so anything can happen. Wild Heart is a good card. But, oh, Ojama Black bites the dust, but not good enough. Alright, Arm Dragon level 7, your effect might work again if you can draw another beater monster worth throwing. Not really? Okay, Swords is finally gone. That's right, Chaz! You can go in there and beat him up now. Oh, that's called the Haunted's Worthless. Uh, I just realized that it wasn't attached to anything. It was a Tar Arm Dragon level 3 that evolved, so it's fine. Alright, come on. Arm Dragon level 3, speak of the devil. Arm Dragon level 5, Hero Signal! Clayman! No, Wild Heart. Are you out of Clayman? I don't know. 
All I know is that the face down is a problem because if he attacks it, he'll have no life points left. My god. No, Chaz! You better pray he doesn't get anything crazy. Pot of Greed would probably... Oh my god! Why did you do 3,400 damage to yourself, you dumb, dumb idiot? And game-winning attack goes through to winner of duel number one is... Jaden Yuki! Jaden is one step closer to becoming my partner in the Tag Force series. Chaz, I love you. Don't do this to me. If I had a choice, I'd choose you any day. Don't do this to me. Here comes the second fight. All because he literally played two monsters with zero attack and attack mode and attacked. But, but that gives him information. Shut the fuck up. This is old Yu-Gi-Oh. Old Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't help you. It doesn't help to have information. You'd rather just regeki it. In the olden days. Alright, well, there we go. Sparkster is here. Sparksman's a very good card. The Chaz is going to struggle against that. Most of his cards can't beat it. I was correct. Yeah, only his evolved cards can beat it. His regular cards will really struggle. Pot of Greed comes through, and Pot of Greed gets all the... He's not... He has a ton of fusion cards, so where are they? Looks like a magic cylinder early in this duel is coming through, and this card's gonna go... Ooh, Arm Dragon level 3! Arm Dragon level 3! Arm Dragon level 3! Ah, oh, he's too stupid. Okay, well, that's upsetting. It's okay. You'll, you'll do something. You'll, you'll figure something out. Unless he has Arm Dragon level 5 in hand. No, now I'm very confused. Because he's done it in the in my Master Duel series, my At Master Era series. Chaz has picked Arm Dragon level 3 intentionally. And that's Thunder Giant. Oh, dear God. That's one of the best fusions in Jaden's old school deck. That's going to be one of the hardest things to get rid of. Monster Born, interesting. Sparkster is really that strong, yes. Are you going to go for the discard effect to stop Mass Dragon's effect? Call the Haunted... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Okay. It's, it, you didn't even normal summon. I don't think you noticed. You could play Avion. You don't, you don't have to not play Avion. All right, one more Mass Dragon for good measure. You're out of Mass Dragons, I just realized. Yep. And this is why you go for Arm Dragon level 3. Though, it, Thunder Giant would have killed it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Thunder Giant would have killed it if he had Arm Dragon level 5. Monster Born comes through. Oh, well, actually, no. It would have attacked and evolved. It would have been fine. Again, Mass Dragon's not good enough. Arm Dragon level 3 is definitely not good enough. Well, actually, what he's doing, it actually works. Yeah, well, still. What are you doing? Jazz! I don't, he has to... Mmm, back row, but Heavy Storm. Alright, he had back row, so that's what he was going to trust. Swords is how Jaden won the last duel. Is it going to be how he wins this one? Even though he totally doesn't need it, given the situation. So this is Chaz's plan. He has two Arm Dragon level 3s, and the opponent actually could totally deal with both of them if he's smart. But he isn't smart, so yeah, it didn't happen. Chazzy boy, my boy, my guy, you know what to do. Arm Dragon level 5. But you do need to evolve it, so make sure you evolve it. Good job. Arm Dragon level 7. Now the Thunder Giant can't touch it. Thunder Giant can only hit monsters with, I, I think it's at 2400 or below, I don't know exactly. You can find out actually, watch this, wabam. Uh, original attack less than the original attack of this card. Never mind, he couldn't have killed Arm Dragon level 5, good to know. Cyberjar, you wasted your Arm Dragon level 8, 7, whatever. You threw it all away, Chaz. Why'd you do it, Chaz? Why'd you break my heart? You're helping your opponent by playing Cyberjar when you literally had field advantage. Heavy Storm's not bad. Stamping's not bad. You need monsters. No, not your arm drag. Oh, my God. You literally... No! Why? Oh, my God. You're dumb. You're dumb, and I don't like it. The only good news here is that... Uh, uh, well, actually, I don't see the good news yet. I mean, we know our Dragon Level 5 is coming. Sparkster's back. Yeah. Mm, he's going to heavy storm and there's not going to be a sky... Uh, the swords is not going to be hit. That's not good. A re-swords is really bad. We can get a new arm dragon level 7 though. That's really good. And two sparkmen do not fuse. So that works out too. Alright. Arm dragon level 7 is on the field now. Very unlucky that he had it in his hand. So what do you got? That's not bad. Let's see what he gets with it. Oh, that's really good. When Skyscraper in hand, that's the best card you could top deck. Okay, Blade Edge is legitimately going to be a threat. You need to kill these monsters with your effect. I don't know how, I don't know why. Wait, you have Stamping Destruction, I just realized. I forgot, I saw you draw that card. Oh my god, Chaz, go in. Let the legend come back to life. 
Let me believe in Chaz again. Ah, crap. You're too weak. It's okay. It's okay. Sparkman isn't going to hurt you. Unless he has an air fusion possibility. He did not get fusion recovery. If he got fusion recovery, that would have been horrifying. Alright, let's see. Heart of the cards. Wow, Chaz. You know you actually have this problem in the Tag Force game. This is letting me see what problems my ally will have. And, well, I've already seen most of them. But uh, I never got to team up with Chaz, so I know for a fact that this will be a problem. Him drawing beater monsters. Hmm. Let's see what he does. Forcing Arm Dragon level 7 to do everything is not the best. It's stalling for time. It's giving his opponent more cards. If he draws any special summon, he could tribute for Blade Edge, and Blade Edge could win in this duel with Skyscraper. Oh, that top deck. Magic Jammer save the day. Get rid of... Oh, Jama Magic! Okay, that is a good top deck. Thank God you stopped it. That was horrifying. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. All right, we got Ojama Green. Ojama Yellow. Ojama Black. Now you just need Polly and life is complete. Just don't put Ojama King in attack mode like an idiot. And Clayman's going for some day. It's gone. No Ojama today. And Skyscraper does not activate, which means you get a free kill. I love it. Good strategy there. Get extra damage and game over. Looks like we're going to game three, everybody. Chaz managed to pull it off in this duel. Please for the... Okay, well, that's going to suck for Chaz. 2,800 damage, everyone. 2,800 damage. Ooh, I'm getting excited. The winner of this will be moving on in the tournament. There's only going to be three uh, matches today. This fight, the other two competitors fight, and then the two winners fight. That's it. I'm super excited for this fight. Oh, he started with double Thunder Giant. That's not allowed. I don't have anything against Jaden. He just sucks in the game. I'm not going to lie. In Tag Force, he sucks. He's doing pretty good here. I'll give him some credit here, but he sucks in Tag Force. So we're going to see what happens. I know he doesn't super suck, but watch my Tag Duel Sundays with him. You'll understand. You'll understand. You got to experience it. All right, here comes the fusion. I was wondering when he was going to pull this off. Thunder Giant. And now he could he could fuse again, or he could discard to make sure that Chaz doesn't get anything. Oh, he's going to fuse again. I don't blame him. Having two fusions does sound pretty cool. But if it were me, I would have kept Sparkman in hand, discarded it to pop Flying Kamikiri, because we don't want to deal with Flying Kamikiri's effect. Because eventually, as long as he didn't draw two of them, he will end up in an Arm Dragon level 3. But if he did draw two of them... Okay, no, he didn't. And this is where things get problematic. Because if he gets to Arm Dragon level 7, then those Thunder Giants don't mean much. Arm Dragon level 5 is here. Chess does run level up. I wonder if he got it. Nope, but he has this effect. He's at least going to deal with one of the problems. Oh, he's stealing it. Oh, my God. That was such a good play. I love it, Chaz. You got some ingenuity there. Attack goes through. Are you going to crash for safety reasons, or are you going to just attack the face down monster? Okay, yeah, you're probably going to take that card. And now Mass Dragon is going to take you make you take some damage. But we get a double evolution. Arm Dragon level 7. And Arm Dragon level 7. The Chaz is fighting for his goddamn life. All right, what do you got? Oh, what is that top deck? Oh my god, Jaden Yuki's got pro tag powers. That was the only card he could draw. The Chaz is shook. He's got nothing left. All of his best cards are in the grave. Okay, interesting. That's his last arm dragon level 5. He has none left. Do you have any other monsters? Pot of Greed. Even a mass dragon? That'll do. That'll do, Chaz. That was the best top deck that Jaden Yuki could have got. The next best would be Snatch Steel right now. It would actually be super valuable. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. Wow, your top decks are good, Jaden. Maybe I should give you a second look. Although, if you lose this duel, you're out. You're not my partner. Which I know might break some people's hearts, but I feel like this is a lot of fun. This is a fun way to decide who the next partner should be. And Chaz is one step closer to being my Tag Force partner, everybody. We're going to go ahead and move into the next fight of our tournament. We're taking out... I know it's a small tournament, but it's a real one. Uh, we're going to take out Jaden Yuki. He no longer exists. The next fighter will be... Let's go over here real quick. Cyrus Truesdale. 
And the other one will be Alexis Rhodes. Which of these characters will be joining me? I'm going to get Alexis over here and we're going to go find Cyrus. I pray to God I have his face just on standby. Sometimes I don't have the faces ready, but I might have his. I do! All right. Let's see. Power Bond is so good, but remember what your brother taught you. You suck. And that's kind of what he taught you. All right. Totally Cyber can totally beat a gyroid, but not in this case. Yeah, that's one of her weaknesses. A lot of her monsters have low attack points. Command Knight's supposed to help with that, but she has to draw it. And Cyrus has a pretty good hand. Cyrus Truesdale has actually fused. I'm really surprised. And it was by Power Bond, which means Alexis doesn't stand a chance. The 4,400 damage comes through. A Toily Cyber is gone. Gyroy goes in. Alexis lost over half her life points that quickly. 2,200 is a very small cost for a 4,400 attack boy monster. And Cyber Gymnast does its best. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. No, 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 no. Not in this house. Monster Born. Yep, it was Fusion Summon correctly, so you can use it. And Steam Gyroid has been stolen, but you're not going to kill Gyroid. Well, hold up. Yes, you are. I take that back. And it looks like Alexis Rhodes is going in. Gyroid is going to take a hit. Gyroid is going to take a hit. And Cyrus is going to save his own life. You got to respect the man. He's doing it. Love it. All right. Let's just destroy a little cheap. Nothing wrong with that. And let's see what you got. Cyrus Truesdale, what you going to draw? Heavy Storm has value. It can pop a card, and then you can attack Cyber Gymnast to make sure it doesn't get its effect. Yeah, good plays. All right, Cyrus, maybe I do want you as a partner. You got her down to 2,200 life points. And if it wasn't for the fact that she stole your monster, then you might not have, uh, you know, been in a bad spot. Warrior Lady's really good, and there's the Malevolent Nuzzler she loves to use in our Let's Play. I'm actually glad that she uses it at all and doesn't just leave it in her hand completely, because sometimes she does, but most of the time she actually will play it. Um, let's see, life point wise, he has disadvantage, and uh, that was a horrible top deck, but the scapegoats might buy him one more turn. Depends on if she draws another monster. Okay, yes, it bought him one more turn, that monster does not do piercing, that monster does not gain attack points for everybody else. Alright, Sai, I don't think you have a top deck that can save you, but I, I guess a steamroid. Steamroid's your only hope. Drillroid is not going to do it. Steamroid with 7 completed can kill Steam Gyroid. It'll have 3,000 attack, and then when it, you know, it'll be too strong. It actually could have saved the day, but it didn't. And she almost destroys herself, which is super foolish, but it doesn't matter. In duel number one, it was an epic match. It was very close, but it's going to end with Alexis Rhodes taking the game. Let's see what happens in duel number two, and let's see who deserves to be my partner. Come on, guys. I want to see more fighting. Give me your energy. I want to know which one of you loves me the most. It's like I put them in a coliseum against each other, and the one that wins is the one I will truly love. I know that's kind of messed up, but welcome to Tag Force. I'm not joking, this game's just been about this the whole time. You've been watching me live on campus, you know I love these people. But, if they have to, be, if they have to die to see who's the strongest, then so be it. Oh, look at this, in this game she'll actually play Rhoda. And she's addicted to Command Knight, which is fine by me. Which is fine by me. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. So what are you going to do with it? You're going to attack. Yes, you are. Drill Ward's pretty good too, though. That, yeah, you agree. <laughs> and you agree, Drill Ward is pretty good. So with that card being stolen and not even destroyed, that top deck was god tier. What the hell? Why didn't you play it? Cyrus, what trap are you protecting? Oh, okay, kind of, but... You should still... I guess you will eventually get your card back for 2,000 burn. But your life points. But your life points. Alright, maybe he's cooking. We don't know what he's cooking, but maybe he's cooking. The problem is you gotta deal with double command night now. Yeah, that would... Wow. Cyrus has protag powers too? He's got the ability to do that? Because you're locked right now, but she can't beat Drillroid. A, se a seven completed Drillroid's too damn good. Did you... I'm sorry, did you intentionally choose defense on this? I've never seen an AI do that in my life. I don't think I've ever seen... No, no, I don't think I'm lying. I don't think you guys have ever seen an AI do that. I might be lying, but I feel like I've never seen any human or computer choose seven completed second of fad. Didn't matter. It didn't matter. All right, well, Command Knight goes in. There was nothing they could do because they were locked. It feels bad for them. 
All right, there we go. I mean, they could have attacked War DD Warrior Lady, but that's not worth it. I don't think Cyrus is going to be my partner, guys. I think he tried in the first duel, and in the saw, uh, yeah, in the second duel, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Look at this field he's up against. He's doing his best. He's going for one last shot. He wants one last shot at the belt, and that's it. Well, we can already see who our grand finalists are going to be. I'm afraid Cyrus and Jaden, I appreciate your friendship. I appreciate your love, but you will not be my partner in this Tag Force tournament. It was fun seeing your hero and Roy Dex go at it. I got to see both characters go for fusions, which is kind of cool. But I need the best. And the best is not you, Sai. So we're going to go ahead and replace Cyrus with Chaz. And we're going to see who our partner is going to be. Will it be Cyrus... Tr uh, sorry, will it be Chaz Princeton or will it be Alexis Rhodes? Everybody, who do you want more? I know you're watching this on your own time and it's not live for once, but... Uh, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm real excited to find out who my partner's going to be. Who's going to be my Tack Force person? Which one of you cares about me the most? All right. Alexis has a basic start. Nothing wrong with that. I don't like Chaz's hand. He needs to work with... I don't care who I get. Both of these characters are great. I was a little worried about Jaden and Cyrus, but, you know, I'm sure I could have worked with them. Um, But still. Oh, no. That card's going to beat you. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe she goes for a tribute instead. And Ojama Trio, so now you cannot summon anymore. I do like when he does that. That's smart. That is very smart. Cyber Gymnast and the girl. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, no, you need to kill that Armed Dragon. I'm telling you right now. You don't kill that Armed Dragon, and you're going to pay for it. You didn't kill that Armed Dragon. You're going to pay for it. All right. Give her, uh, give her whatever you got. Well, you just top deck that monster. That's not great. Give her whatever you got, sir. Monster Aborn to Tribute Summon again. Getting two Armed Dragon level 7s. It's unnecessary, but I, I can I can see it. Attack goes through. The Gymnast is no longer a problem. The Ojama Token is no longer a problem. I believe only one of them gets to evolve now, which is fine. Picking the deck is... Oh, no, as long as it destroys, it doesn't have to send to the grave. And there are his last Armed Dragon level 7s. And with these, he can pop the whole field for damage. DD Warrior Lady will take one with her, but... <laughs> you have lost a lot of life points to even be put in this situation. She's in a bad spot, guys. Alexis Road is struggling. That is not useful at this moment in time. Attack goes through. Ojama Green is gone. 3,000 life points remain. Alexis, you're making me a little sad. You were such a good partner, I must admit. I never got to team with Chaz, and I know he has a lot of brick cards, so I feel like my safest partner would be Alexis, and it would be better for her to win. But I was, I was happy for Chaz to win over Jaden. All right, let's see. Warrior Lady. That's really good, Alexis. Get a Blade Skater or something. You need to fuse. That works, too. I was going to say, you need to fuse, but that card works, too. All you got to do is discard this time and not be an idiot. Okay, she's only semi-dumb. Cyber Prima would have been nice to summon, actually. Why'd you trip? Well, I have to assume the other two cards are better. Because why the heck would you get rid of that? Interesting. I'm very, I'm very curious what that is. Ojama, no. Okay, we're going to Creature Swap, which would have been a good play if he had a card to discard, but he doesn't. You're going to take 800. She's almost gone. I'll, I'll admit, her life points are in a desperate situation, but he's top decking, so I don't like his odds. Call the Haunted. Oh, crap. Cyber Prima was discarded. Hi, Cyber Prima. That's going to be a hard card to deal with for our buddy Chaz. All right, Chazzy boy. She's made a comeback so far, but only takes one top deck to get this back under control. That is not the top deck. Crap. Oh, it didn't matter. That None of these top decks mattered. I was going to say Magic Cylinder, but no, none of these top decks mattered. Okay, well, it turns out Alexis is going to win game number one. With Cyber Prima, they have exact damage, and that is it! We have one duel left, everybody. Unless Chaz can come through. I would love to team up with my favorite character, Chaz. I would. This is your last chance to prove it, Chaz, that I deserve to be with you, that I deserve to work with the Monjome Thunder, with the Chaz... Oh, God, that hand is god-awful. That is the... He only runs two Arm Dragon level 7s, and he got them both. That is the worst possible hand I've ever seen. That could save it. I'm surprised that you got that. Wow. One card that could save the hand, and there it is. Hi there. She didn't normal summon. Interesting. All right, Cyberjar is going to do its thing. He needs monsters desperately. She's got uh, 
Monster aboard, and that's good. Saku, that's good. She confused. Why did you not set the monster that does burn damage? I'm starting to think the people that program Master Duel are completely stupid, but it's okay. I am too. Don't feel bad. You're not alone. Uh, Jama Yellow, Jama, or Arm Dragon. Yep. See, Chaz played that pretty well. He did exactly what he should have done. But you knew what it was. It's not worth it <laughs> for the 700 burn. Oh, she does have Polly! Oh, he stopped it! She could have got Cyber Blader, which would have been unaffected by anything. It would have been, in a, uh, like, monster effects wouldn't work. Spells and traps wouldn't work. She'd be immune to everything. Oh, my God. I'm sad. I love Cyber Blader. I wanted to see it. Arm Dragon level 5 is on the field now. Call of the Haunted brings back Arm Dragon level 3. Arm Dragon level 5 is on the field now. Chaz is, is fighting for his goddamn life. Stampy needs to hit Saku. Attack and receive. Okay, well that's... Wow, they had two of the burn card. Dimension Wall, she does have that. Saku ruins it though. The AI doesn't know how to use it. Yup. Yup. You need to learn to program. Whoever made this game. Whoever made Master will learn how to program. And there we go. We're going to attack right there. That didn't work out. At least Ojama Yellow didn't go into attack mode. That That's really stupid when that happens. Our Dragon level 7 is here. A lot of Chaz's ba basic monsters can't get through her defenses. No! The boy is in trouble. Monster Bork could steal Arm Dragon level 5. Yep, the boy is in trouble. Arm Dragon level 5. She has no other monster, though. What is in her hand? Interesting. Okay. A final trap card. Interesting. Do you Dark Hole or do you wait and do the damage? Okay, you're going to Dark Hole. Well, then that Magic Cylinder is going to have to do something because you're... You, look, this could be your... Okay, Swords is good. I was going to say, this could be your last duel if you don't play a little bit better. MST, not on swords, right? Okay, well, you hit Magic Cylinder. That is very valuable. But I personally hate swords with a passion when it's used against me. All right, Warrior Lady of the Wasteland is doing its job. It's ready to die. Heavy Storm is one of the worst top decks. Chaz is getting the worst hand slash top decks other than Cyber Jar. He needs something. He needs something special or he's going to be out of, my, out of my life. And I won't be able to tag up with him. That card's good. We'll start with that. Work our way up from there. I would have attacked Blade Skater, but you do you. You gotta attack Blade Skater in this situation while you still have swords up. That way you can get your Arm Dragon level 3 to get Arm Dragon level 5. But, you know, you do you. You, you want to make a bad play? You make a bad play. Who am I to judge other than the person that's supposed to judge? Alright, let's see what he can get. He's in trouble. A heavy Storm, Regeki Break. But then he'll never... Oh, that's not good. The problem with this situation... Is if he throws away Arm Dragon level 7, the highest attack monster he can get is 24 from Arm Dragon level 5. And that's not terrible, it just might not be good enough. Yep, get rid of that Command Knight immediately. Good play. So, sh he's willing to throw the Heavy Storm instead. I appreciate that. I really do. I think Arm Dragon level 7 might be a win condition here. Well, well, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, and now that I see that card, well, maybe you could just try to win the top deck game. So, here we go. 1400 damage. Whoever wins the top deck game is my part. Well, not really. Has a chance of being my partner. Alexis wins, she's my partner. Chaz wins, we're going to game three. That's a hell of a top deck. That's a hell of a monster. Nothing, oh wait, no. For the love of God, pick on Dragon level three. Come on, you gotta have some brain cells in there. Yes. There's the brain cells. There's what we need to see. All right, draw a card, MST, Arm Dragon level 3 is going away, bye-bye. Arm Dragon level 5 is going to give him advantage, and advantage is good. She's struggling now. She's going to need a hell of a top deck to get out of this situation. I actually don't know what she can top deck. That won't work, MST. Yeah, I do not know what she can top deck. That would have worked. Wow! She top decked what she needed, but MST came in through... Le oh, it's in the grave. He can't level up. It wouldn't have won him the duel anyway, but it's crazy that he has it. Alright, well, let's see what happens. Does she draw something now that can save her? Nope, it's over. We're going to game three, everybody. I hope you're excited. Our partner is yet to be decided. He had a horrible hand, too, but he found his way through. Here we go! We're going to game three. This will decide who my partner is in the Tag Force series. Will it be the Chaz or will it be the number one female duelist at Duel Academy, Alexis Rhodes? And no, it's not Jules. All right, let's go. Let's see what you got. 
Who's gonna be my partner? That is Ojamas. I don't think you ever want Ojamas unless you happen to have uh, Polly in your hand. Pato Greed. Okay, Mass Dragon's really good. Arm Dragon level 7 sh shouldn't be in hand, but it has use for being discarded for Arm Dragon's effects, so it's something. Rhoda. Command Knight's pretty scary, I admit. MST's pretty sucky, I admit. You lost swords, that's not good. Oh dear god, that's not good. You must pick Arm Dragon level 3, you're in a pretty bad state right now. Thank god, okay, the AI's playing slightly better than it did earlier. Arm Dragon level 3, it's time for you to shine. Alright, Arm Dragon level 3 turns into Arm Dragon level 5. You could premature or you could save it. What? Okay, sure. Interesting. What the fuck? I'm very confused. Why didn't you pick Arm Dragon level 5, which was the card that could have killed the opponent? Chaz, why are you throwing? I want you to be my partner. You're my boy. You're my guy. You're my friend. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, pick your last Mass Dragon. Oh wait, no, that's the same one from earlier. Yeah, you have two. Okay, please pick Arm Dragon level three. You gotta try this again, but do better this time. Thank God. Okay, he's gonna try harder this time. He promised me he'd try harder. Okay, that's not a good top deck, but he might use it as a discard, I don't know. He will use it as a discard to get rid of Command Knight. Nothing wrong with that, go attack the other monster. She's going to try and get her attack point back. I don't blame her. She's going to be pretty weak. A Cyber Blader with a Malevolent Nuzzler would be pretty good, though. And with this, he got his Arm Dragon level 7. This is the strongest card he has. That is the ultimate monster of Chaz's deck. How are you going to deal with it, Alexis? Now you're the one in trouble. Alexis is so... Cr what the hell? She got Dark Hole? Oh my god, Alexis. Oh, but she's break because she bought Malevolent Nuzzler. This is a weird duel. Oh, if he gets Arm Dragon level 3 or 5, he's good. Oh, wait, no. Both 7s are in the grave. I just realized. He has to get level 3. A Toily Cyber gets the new equip spell. Why not? Making it nice and strong. You need an Arm Dragon level 3 more desperately than ever. And if not that, you need something that can keep you alive. Because you're wide open, buddy. That is perfect. Why not? Why the hell not? If you could use it, use it. And you need more monsters as well. Blades get... Oh, you need Polly. The only time you would have fused, he stopped it with Magic Jammer. I really would love to see your fusion. And that's not a good sign. Oh! She had it the whole time! We're gonna see the Cyberblader! With Cyberblader on the field, if he summons a monster, it's immune to battle. If he summons two, her attack is 4200. If he summons three, then she is going to be negating all effects. Nothing's going to affect her. No spells, no traps, no monster effects. All right, and she's going in. Sadly, she is not... Well, is there any Arm Dragon level threes left? I feel like he used a lot. Exactly, he did. Look what he already... He lost Arm Dragon level three, seven, five, seven, three, five, five, three. He lost everything. He's out of Arm Dragons in general. All the Arm Dragons are in the grave. He has to win without his iconic monster. He has to find a way to win the duel without his most iconic card. And honestly, Cyber Jar is one of the only ways to do it. So I'm impressed that he got that card. The question is, how is he going to plan this out? Ah, that's how you do it. That didn't work. But I see your plan now. Why are you not setting the card that can get you back into this duel? You're starting to upset me. I'm sure he has a reason, but I'm scared. All right, Cyber Blair does it. He's out of cards. All, all the cards are gone. You have Call of the Haunted, though. Arm Dragon Level 5 can do something. Stamping Destruction can do something. Cyber Jar is always there as a backup plan, so Cyber Blader can't beat that. Stamping Destruction makes sure that he doesn't take any damage. Magic Cylinder would have been pretty clutch. Dimension Ball is almost the same thing, but not as good because Cyber Gymnast is dead. And Cyber Gymnast was necessary for destroying Arm Dragon Level 5. Cyber Blader can't do it. Cyber Blair won't be destroyed herself, but she can't do it. Putting her in defense mode was the biggest misplay I've ever seen in the world. Chaz is going to be my partner. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is my boy. Why didn't he summon Cyber Jar to win the duel? Summon Cyber Jar to win the duel. She put herself in defense mode. This was your option. That was your best chance. That was the best chance you had. This game is crazy. This duel is completely insane. Okay, the AI, this is about what Tag Force is going to be anyway, so I don't mind when the AI makes horrible mistakes. Finally, we choose Cyber Jar, but I'm starting to realize he lost most of the monsters in his deck. Whereas she still has something left. We're on turn 22. She has Fusion Sage. Wait, how much? 
There's only 15 cards left in his deck, and she only has 12. She has 23. She has plenty of monsters left. MST would be pretty clutch. Let's see what he hits. TT is a huge hit. That is huge. All right. Pot of Greed, what a top deck. What are we going to get? Premature Burial, what a top deck. 4,200 attack point monster is now on the field. If he had three monsters, she would have stopped Cyberdraw from killing her, but there were only two. All right, Totally Cyber's amazing. Warrior Lady's amazing. Heavy Storm's amazing. Monster Reborn's amazing. Command Knight's amazing, but the AI is stupid and puts it in defense mode because I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay, one, two, three... He has no monsters. He legitimately has no monsters left. How, how many cards are in the grave? 24. I, I can't count the monsters, but most of these are monsters. I, I feel like he's used up everything he's got, except Ojamas, maybe. Why'd you play that in attack mode? Okay, I want I want, I want, want to know who the programmer is. I want to find them. I want, just want to talk to him. I'm not going to hurt him. I might hurt them. <laughs> I, I'm a little upset. They did get Polly, though. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting real upset. Chazzy boy. I'm getting real upset. I'm starting to think Alexis is going to be my partner. Magic Jammer? Sure, where are we going to toss? Might as well. You're not going to get Ojama King, even though it probably was a win condition. Why didn't she play all her monsters? She going for, like, just guaranteed exact damage game? Whatever. The pair! The partner has been decided, everyone! The person that will be joining me in the Tag Force Tournament is Alexis Rhodes. Alexis will be my Tag Force partner. And I think to commemorate this, we're going to make this a longer episode. We're going to have to get out of Master Duel real quick. I'm, I'm connecting my controller. I don't usually do this, but I'm connecting my controller. I have connected my controller. And the reason I did that was because Chaz needs to go away. Alexis needs to go away. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tournament thing. I thought it'd be fun. I hope it was fun for you all. Uh, we're going to close this. We're going to open up Tag Force, which I don't normally do off camera, but I just did. We're going to switch over to the Tag Force game. And here we go. Oh, whoops. Continue. We are in our Tag Force file. The story mode from last continue, please. We are on the final day. Alexis Rhodes, would you do me the honor of being my partner? You did it. You won the tournament. Can I talk to you real quick? Oh, I'm counting on you too. You earned this. You earned it. Just the usual. Oh, I would. Do I have any items to give you? Nothing, huh? Let's go buy you a sandwich. You deserve a sandwich. I feel like she deserves a sandwich. What do you guys think? We're going to the store. Hey, store people. I need sandwiches for the person that has earned my affection. I was hoping it'd be Chaz, but I'm okay with this. Alexis is fine. As long as it wasn't Cyrus or the other one. <laughs> tofu? I don't think she likes tofu. Try again. I'll spend all my money if I have to. Just give me, give me sandwiches that she'll enjoy. It's probably the most unhinged episode I've ever done on this channel. Like, it's gonna be weird to count this as a Tag Force episode, but it 100% is a Tag Force episode. Yep, she loves chocolate. Alright, I think I can do better than that, though. Just one chocolate sandwich, that's not gonna feed her hunger. She needs more. Alright, I always get jam. I, I always do. I'm, I'm freaking psychic when it comes to jam sandwiches. Got anything else. I want her to like me. A jam. Oh, I missed it that time. All right, that's fine with me. Let's go talk to her. Let's go show her our affection. Alexis, you are going to be my partner. You understand this, right? You've done it. You won a huge tournament in an alternate universe. It Technically, we can count that as a little Master Era side, side plot that happened uh, in the past, back when we were doing Duel Academy. Yeah, it's your favorite. I know. Hey, what about some chocolate sandwich? I heard you really like chocolate sandwich. Yes, you do. All right. Um, let's go check our, our partnership with her. I want to see if uh, it's high. Because it is the final day and we have to be ready. I, wanna, I, want, I want the person that's going to be my partner. I want them to be maxed out. I don't want them to be like, oh, you just barely got me. I want them to be like, damn, you earned me. 
Jaden, you tried, okay? You put up a fight. I'll give you that. You took Chaz to game three. Cyrus, you at least fused. It didn't work out. Alexis, wow, to get in that last heart is tough. Uh, Chazzy boy, you, you fought really hard, but you failed me as well. Well, now that I know she needs even more, then I guess I'm going to spend more on sandwiches. Sandwiches. They're all that matter. The only thing that matters is sandwiches. All right. The only thing that matter. We need to make her love us. Give me more. I didn't realize she was that far off from a heart. Yeah, golden ones. Golden will help. Oh, chef sandwich helps. Yep, got it. Our cook sandwich. I never get that right. Ignore me. Why are you guys watching? <laughs> get out of here. This is my house. Tofu again. I'm addicted to tofu, apparently. All right. Let's just try again. Plain sandwich. That's more for me. I just wanted to draw a card. Happy marriage. Perfect. Suits the mood real good, I must admit. All right. It worked out. Now let's just try this again. Come on. 50 bucks. Missed it again. Weird. I'm having trouble now. Well, you know what? There's other ways to make people love you. At uh, first, I could try the other sandwiches. If she doesn't like them, then it, well, whatever. I could just say, screw it. Here. Eat. Devour. Here, wait, no. Cook sandwich you do like. Here, I can give you a guaranteed sandwich that every character likes. It's my favorite. Yes, it is. Um, I don't know if you're going to like a plain sandwich. This might not work out. She's okay with it. She's all right with it. You know what? Another way we can get friendship up, guys? We could move the clock forward and talk to her again. Hobbies didn't seem to work, though. We might need to talk about something else. Oh, wait. I know how to move the clock forward. We'll just... Yeah, it's time for class. We'll go to class. Exactly. It's the last day before the freaking Tag Force tournament. We gotta go to class. And you're stupid. <laughs> how is the last day before the Tag Force tournament this worthless? How, how are they not teaching us? Who hired these people? All right, Alexis, do you want to talk about duels? Are you excited for the tournament? Maybe we talk about duels? Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that, that didn't work out. Whoops. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't know, Alexis. I apologize. Here, have a sandwich. You like tofu? Tofu's good. Okay. She, she ate it. <laughs> she ate it. That's good enough for me. Here, you like tofu. Tofu's good for you. Yeah, she's, she ate it. All right, how about spice? You like a little spice in your life? Can you handle spice? You can. Good, good, good. Keep eating. You hunger. <laughs> you hunger. All right, good, good, good. She's eating. Good. Eating shows me that she, she, she is in a positive mood. That is one of the things you need to know about me. If I'm suddenly not hungry, then I am probably not in a good mood, which is rare. It's rare, but it happens. I love food. All right, how are we doing now? It's so close. It's so close. We're like right there. All right, you know what we could do? No, 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 no. We're going to try the sandwich strat just a little bit more. Just a little bit more sandwich. It's what she wants. She ate the other one. She'll eat anything. All right, yeah, come on. I got money for days here. Give me what I need. Chocolate. Oh, grape. She likes grape, too. Luckily for me, she also likes grape. Alright, let's see what else we can get. Come on. Got it. Chefs. Alright, maybe one more. One more should feed her. It'll be good. Oh, but... Oh, golden. Missed it by one. Hot pepper. She'll love hot pepper. Perfect. She totally won't like hot pepper. Oh, God. All right, we'll go to the classroom. I don't think I've ever pulled hot pepper before. That's kind of interesting. Alexis, more sandwiches. Jasmine and Mindy must be freaked out right now. They're just like, why does he keep bringing her sandwiches? Is she really this hungry? Here's grape. Grape is good. Grape is good. Yeah, it's my favorite. I knew it. Here, cook sandwich. It's your favorite as well. I know it is. Yes, good. Eat. All right, that should be enough. I, I think we did it. If we if we did this right, Alexa should have a maximum heart, 
and our let's play, or at least the first part of our let's play. I don't know what part this is, but it's only part one of the, of the let's play. Technically, you could put all these parts of the episodes together and just say this is part one. This has all been just one long part. She's not there yet. How is she not there yet? All of those sandwiches. There's only one way to do this. Advance time. I need to catch her at night. It's the only way. Let her digest some of the food I gave her. It's okay. Alexis, where are you? Perfect. This will be the perfect setting. Alexis, I'm coming. Get out of here. Brothers of uh, brothers of uh, Chaz. He wasn't good enough for me either, apparently. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm counting on you too. The only thing we haven't talked about is the academy. Oh wow, nothing was good to talk about today. You had no positive conversations today. You're not really. You know what? Screw it. You did good against them, but how are you against me? <laughs> you want friendship? I'll give you friendship. I'll beat you in a duel right now. I'll make this an hour episode. I don't care. This is about friendship. I will make this an hour an episode. This is the most important episode of the Let's Play. The one where I get my part and I'm see rank. Oh god, this is my hero deck. I forgot this is a hero deck. This ain't gonna do too good. Besides, the way to max out friendship should definitely be through dueling. Man, I just saw Jaden duel with the with a hero deck. I wish I had freaking Sparkman and the fusion card. Let's reason with her. Alexis, you just gotta know. It's it's important. Level 7. There's no way I run a level 7. That's my boy right there. He's not gonna work out in this case, but I'll use him anyway. I activate Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm's gonna be real good. I didn't even know she had that card. Didn't even know she had that. I just took 1200 burn. Alright, well, even though most of your monsters have a lot of defense, I think you don't have one with a lot of defense at this moment in time. Oh dear god. Oh, this is going horribly. I'm supposed to be getting your friendship up. I can't do that unless I beat you. That's not working out. Oh, no. I pray to God I have more than one Dream Clown in this deck. Pray to God. Alright, what do I have in this deck? What is this deck made of? I do not have more than one Dream Clown in this deck. This is not good. Hex Seal has value, though. But it's too weak. I'll go with more rats until I get the right thing I need. Alright, two back rows still because my heavy storm failed. She just decided to play on top of the world today. Alright, I'm gonna just go for Diamond Dude because I could really use some more support right now. Diamond Dude helped me out here. She's giving me a lot of trouble. Ah, crap. Well, since that didn't work out, I'm just gonna have Diamond Dude attack a totally cyber. None Yeah, no, we had to do it to ya. And then we'll just end our turn there, it's fine. DD Warrior Lady is a problem. In fact, I think that's one of the reasons she even became my partner. Is because her DD Warrior Lady is such a valuable card. But we'll deal with her later. Sorry, DD. Ah, oh, Diamond Dude. Dude, I want my Heavy Storm back so badly. I don't think I run- Oh, I wish! I wish I owned the correct monster. Alright, I summon Doom Lord this time. And even though this doesn't technically deal with the problem, we'll deal with it later. I don't want to have to deal with it right now. Get out of here. We'll deal with the problem later. Plus, I might have just got you to flip your monster. Yes! Okay. It's a weak card that we can beat, but there's a lot of traps and she runs a lot of burn. Surprisingly, she has a lot of attack and receives, a lot of dimension walls, magic cylinders, she's got everything. Uh, yeah, that card's good and all, but I'd rather just go in. I don't believe she'll get me. She can't kill everything, right? I attack with Sparkster. Okay, attack and receive has to be one of those cards, don't pretend like it's not. Yep, here comes the beginning of the damage. I still got plenty of life points left. I'm above half. As long as I'm above half, life is good. Oh, I hate you. I actually hate you. I need to draw one of my fusion materials, or I need my giant rat to die for a hex seal. Yeah, you, bet you, you better believe I want you to continue to attack. God, I wish I pulled Thunder Giant during the beginning of this Let's Play, but I never got that lucky. I did get some cool cards, though, and I've already used a lot of them in our turn or in this series. A lot of cool heroes. Pot of Greed's a hell of a hero. Huh, that didn't feel very long. Pot of Greed, Rhoda, Jinzo, lots of value here. Rhoda is necessary. With Rhoda, I can choose... I mean, I'd like to choose Avion because he fuses into some cool stuff, but the reality is I need Bristanatrix. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to summon Jinzo to prevent her from preventing us from stopping her from winning the duel. That made no sense, and I apologize. I'm going to activate Polly just because this is the only thing I can fuse from the hand, and it gets me monster advantage. And then emergencies, I have, I still have Cyber Jar for an emergency. Sparkster, I'm afraid you're going to have to leave us forever. It's one of the reasons why I didn't try to get anything that fuses with you. Not like I have anything. I only have Spark Fan in the deck because he has my big fusions like Eric Shielder and stuff like that. Uh-huh. Yep. Goodbye, Spark Man. Um, let's just get rid of this. I don't want to know. Oh, no. No! You're evil! You're pure evil, Alexis! Why? Why are you making this the most difficult duel of my career? She's like, I'm all warmed up after those matches I had. I kicked Cyrus's ass and I beat Chaz. Oh my god. She is not making this easy. Alright, so even if I do get through all these scapegoats, she's just going to summon another one, which is just super annoying. Uh, let's see what else she's got. What other horrors do you have to show me? I forgot that you run Warrior Lady as well. Luckily, you're dumb enough to go for Blade Skater. Alright. I'm going to be you dealing with these freaking... Scapegoats all day today. I just want you to love me. I'm trying to max out your final heart, but you hate me. Oh god. I already used Heavy Storm Giant Tree. It's a card I, I used. No, it didn't work out. Uh, you're worth setting just in case I draw Dogma. If I draw Dogma, you'll come in handy. I could have used you, but I didn't want to put you in attack mode. Trust me. I feel like she has some, her, some last resorts up her sleeve. I don't want to get burned for him. Plus, I might bait her into attacking my defense monster, and if she does that, I can do a lot of deflected damage. Which would be really nice. That's kind of his whole job is, hey, look at me, I'm all deflection here. Okay, lots of traps, but Jinzo says no. For now. Foolish Burial, help me out here. Who do we not need? Where's my Necro Shade? That guy's useless. I only use him for the Necro Shaman Fusion, which I did actually pull off in, a, in an episode. It was kind of cool. I think it was against Jasmine. I might be forgetting it, or not remembering it correctly, but I, I, maybe it did. Alright, so, we got di we got through all the scapegoats. It took forever. We're on turn 16. I don't know how long it took for her to beat Chaz in that final game. It took a long time, though. He went through all of his monster cards. Except maybe some Ojamas. I draw. Giant Rat. That's pretty good. Giant Rat is on the field. I have everything I need to win this duel. Alexis, you were good. I want you to know that. You were a good opponent. A respectable opponent, but I'm done. Alright? You put me through too much. <laughs> Holy crap. That was difficult. <laughs> that was very difficult. Jinzo had to save me there. $400? My god. That was worth a lot of money. Alright. This, this can't be. I lost? I know. I can't believe you lost either. The ocean's kind of pretty at night, isn't it? Oh, dear god. Did I not get your friendship up? Fine, here, have a have this. She liked it. Talk to me. Screw her. <laughs> I've done everything. I've dueled her. I've done everything I can. I've given up on trying to get her final heart. What is she gonna give me? A deck recipe? A card? Notoriety? I don't think so. She's not giving me nothing. Let's go, let's go take a look. We made a lot of money off that. We almost paid for the sandwiches off that. Is it like just the smallest amount of a heart it's it's got to be like there's just a tick there that i'm not seeing i i don't know what she wants from me what does this crazy person want i don't remember when she leaves the pier but the last thing i can do is make it like 11 o'clock the end of the night and if she's still out then maybe just maybe we'll catch her oh she's still out that, that is the thing yep she's right here all right we caught her right before she left that was another great day. Gotta work hard tomorrow, too. No, it's not over yet. You don't love me yet. Alright, one last duel. Your heart... It says eight hearts, but I disagree. It's not giving me the eighth heart, so I'm gonna have to go with this. I'm gonna win for good. This time, I'm gonna win for good. Plus, I need my money back. You kinda stole my money and sandwiches today. If only I got that golden egg, which it was so hard. So hard to pull it. Yeah, let's see who's tougher. I'll show you. I got Giant Rat. I got I got freaking Clayman. This is the best hand ever. 
You don't stand a chance against me. A ghost of a chance. Alright, unless you get Command Knight, then you might stand a chance. Nah, Blade Skater, I could take her. Rhoda? After the fact? That's a mistake. At least in Master Duel, they're a little bit smarter. They can use Rhoda first. Alright, I did kind of need you to destroy my monster, but since you didn't, I'm going to be doing this. I'm not afraid of your traps, if I'm going to be honest with you. I know I'm supposed to be, but I'm not. I attack. Alright, I activate the effect of Giant Rat. I activate the effect of Destiny Signal. Destiny Signal is real fun to use, because I can get Diamond Dude for basically free. So easy. Uh, where's Diamond Dude? Yep. Diamond Dude, come on out. When you only get one Diamond Dude from that futuristic pack, this is the only way you're really going to get to use him. And I could get a fusion, but I didn't really get one. Let's just go Giant Rat again. And that is how you summon three monsters in one turn. Now this will go first, because I don't want you activating any traps. And that's exactly what I didn't want to see, but it exists. Still, if I tried to Heavy Storm, you probably were going to chain that anyway, so... Yup, I'm glad I got Diamond Dude instead. Alright... Oh, you jerk. Well, at least I get to keep Diamond Dude, but Giant Rat would have had value. Alright, Giant... Okay, look. Be more valuable than Giant Rat. Give me something good. Pot of Greed or something. No. That's what Giant Rat was going to give me. I, you, you failed me. You failed me horribly. Command Knight, come kill one of my guys. I'll get, I'll get you with the other one. Diamond Dude, sure. He failed me already. Could have protected him with swords, but I hated him. Alright, Hero Signal. That's a pretty good top deck. So you go hide in defense mode, because this isn't working. You give me some good deflected damage, and you will figure it out. I just gotta hope she doesn't fuse or anything crazy. Well, that's really bad. That is really, really bad for me. Hero Signal, I definitely need a hero right now. Wow. Alright, sucks, but yeah, Clayman's the best I can get. Alright, so, how do I defeat the Command Knight Lock? I saw Chaz do it, but he runs better cards than me. He has the Armed Dragons, something I wish I could have. But I didn't team up. I draw. For Stantrex, a fusion! A fusion can beat it. It's genius. Alright, I can start getting rid of the scapegoats. I can do it. If I play swords, it's safe. I got rid of Call of the Haunted, which is super good. Because I don't want to... If I do find a way to deal with the Command Knight Lock, I want to be able to just destroy it. So you two work together on getting rid of the scapegoats. I don't want to deal with them. And then I need to think of a monster that can get me out of this situation. Other than her tributing. Pato Greed. Okay. Blade Skater. Yep. This is why we play swords. What card can get me out of this? Avion. <coughs> Phoenix Enforcer has value, yes. It won't win me the duel, but it has value, I admit it. In case she somehow gets rid of swords. You're not going to defense mode, Destiny Hero Defender. We'll figure something else out with you. Oh, I hate this game. Alright, I need Dark Hole. I have decided Dark Hole is the only way I'm getting out of this. That is not bad, though. Now, you know what? If I had to get something, that's not too bad. I end my turn. Defender, you're going defense mode after this because you're like the only thing keeping me alive. My magic cylinder! I'm gonna lose. I don't stand a chance. I don't deserve her love or friendship. And yet, she's gonna be my partner. She's popping off on this duel. Alright, heart of the cards. Get me a win. I actually need the heart. You know what? That's, uh, that's the heart of the cards right there. That, that, that actually was pretty clutch. <laughs> All things considered, that was pretty clutch. What the hell? Unless you fuse, you're not getting past my defenses. Yeah. All the monsters in the world don't matter when Blade Skater's your best beater. That is the heart. I was waiting for my heart to show, and there it is. The heart of the cards. Here, I'll even help you get your fusion. And, yep. Yeah, I could have fused. Get out of here. I already hit Call the Haunted, so I have no fear. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, why is Dream Clown face up? Why was Dream Clown face up? Did you see that? Oh, is it because of Diamond Dude? They just glitched it? I don't care. 
Uh, Dream Clown technically would be my best option. It's just kind of scary putting him in attack mode with two traps staring him down. Don't hurt my- don't hurt my clown. Crap. Oh, Dreams can't handle armor. Damn it. This duel's still really bad because we're both top decking and her top decks definitely beat Avion. Well, speak of the devil. Didn't beat Dream Clown though, funny enough. Could have played Avion, but Avion has fusions, but so does Dream Clown. Maybe not in this deck though. Son of a bitch. Do not have MST because then I'm just doing 800 burn to myself. Uh, claim. I mean, Wild Heart is technically the safest. Giant Rat turns into something though. Uh, but there's not much monsters left in my deck that it can hit, so I guess not. Diamond Dude might be pretty good because I can at least activate his effect before something kills him. All right, let's just hope there's no MST. I'm going with Wild Heart. I feel Wild Heart is the safest. Avion, I forgot. I shouldn't have put you in attack mode. She just has a Warrior Lady. We're gonna see a Blade Skater. All right, all the Command Knights are dead though, so Blade Skater should not scare me. Oh, totally cyber. That works too. Avion being in attack mode was really stupid. I apologize. I'm making misplays because she's scaring me. All right, 12, 200 attack comes through. It's fine. It's fine. I'm figuring it out. Traps don't matter. Wild Heart is here to save the day. I draw. Interesting. No, not Jinzo. Well, maybe Jinzo. Yeah, no, actually, yes. Yes, because if I get Giant Trunade, I want a Jinzo. I attack. I'm holding the field. This is another desperate duel with Alexis where I'm probably going to make a ton of money because I'm destroying her her key cards. No! That's a spell card! Uh, I lost. That was a hell of a top deck, Alexis. She top deck Snatch Steel and she wins the duel. Respect. You truly are the partner I deserve. Somebody that I can actually beat me. Was that enough to get your heart up out of curiosity? Nah, I didn't think so. It was a good duel, though. Alright, guys. It's time. We've wasted enough time. You know what? No. Hi, cat. You would have been good to have earlier. <laughs> Why are you even here at 11.30 at night? I think only Zane's out. Or Jinzo. Here we go. We've done it. We've earned this right. The Tag Force Meet Date. Today is the day of the tournament. Part 1 is complete. You'll now return to the title. In the main menu, if you select Story Mode, Part 2 has been added. Warning. You will be asked to save for clearing Part 1. It's okay. I'm willing to save. Everybody, this has been an insanely long Let's Play already. But all of it only counts as part one. We are now at part two of the Let's Play. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.